Hi, Shamu. Hi, everybody. We're the Johnsons from Detroit, Michigan. We sure had a great time when we visited SeaWorld. It's one of our favorite places. Yeah, I like the part when Shamu gets everybody wet. When the whales get close to the glasses, start kicking up the water, whammo, you're a goner. <laughs> the performance of a lifetime. Don't miss this small miracle. Come see our new baby Shamu. Katina was was generally a quiet whale. She was not an uh, overly vocal whale. Um, after Kalina was removed from the scene um, and put on the truck and taken to the airport, and Katina, her mom, was left in the pool, she stayed in the corner of the pool, um, like literally just shaking and screaming, screeching, crying. Like, um, I'd never seen her do anything like that. Um, and you know, I learned to say what they told us to the, to the audience. Hello there. Children are some of Shamu's biggest fans. We can do just about anything we want. I thought I knew everything about killer whales when I when I worked there, you know, and everything about these animals. I really know nothing about killer whales. I know a lot about being an animal trainer or a killer whale trainer, but I don't know anything about these animals' natural history or their behavior. I really... Magnificent creature. I'm here with senior trainer Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Bruce. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you to one of those very special trainers this morning. This is Don Branch Show. Don is the senior trainer here at Shamu Stadium. And I had the honor, Don, of, and I mean this so sincerely, of watching you perform yesterday. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you really are. We actually have a trainer in the water with one of our whales, the whale that they're not supposed to be in the water with. Okay. So we don't know what's going on. Um, we were just told to call and have people here on standby when they get the person out. Well, okay, and come through gate number three to Shamu Stadium. Gate three. Gate three. All right, got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. That was the first report. It wasn't until eyewitness accounts disputed that, that they had to go back in their huddle and say, wait a minute, we got to come up with a new plan. New tonight, SeaWorld has confirmed the killer whale pulled the woman into the water. She didn't fall into the tank as the sheriff's department initially reported. The new plan is that he, he grabbed her ponytail. This is a subtle way of placing the blame on Don's shoulders. She shouldn't have had a, a long ponytail, or if she did have that ponytail, it should have been up in a bun. 